When you get arrested and booked into jail, you face a choice even before you go to trial. Here's how it plays out if you're one of the 20,000 people booked into jail in New Orleans each year. If you can pay your bail, you go free. But if you can't, you or your family pay 10% of that bail amount called a premium to a bail bondsman to go free. You also have to pay additional fees to the court, the prosecutor, the public defender, and the sheriff totaling 3% of that bail amount. And these are all non-refundable, even if you make every court appearance or you're never even prosecuted or convicted. If you are convicted, you have to pay additional fees on top of your sentence. But what if you don't have the money to pay these fines and fees? If you fall behind on payments and end up missing court, you can wind up back in jail. While in jail, you certainly lose your freedom, but you may also lose your job, your home, and your ability to support your family. Not to mention losing your ability to pay the fines and fees that got you into jail in the first place. Keep in mind that most people in this situation are poor and black, and it's not just the people in jail who pay this price. Their families and communities help cover the cost. The fines and fees that help fund the local justice system move money from poor communities, the places that need it most, to government institutions and private industry. In this kind of system, everyone pays. There has to be a better way.